ultimately two mistakes cost us. Um, but like I said in the change room there, one thing we don't do as a team, as a teammate, we don't throw anybody under the bus, we don't leave anybody out to, hung out to dry. There's a kid in there that's obviously really disappointed. Um, but we get round him, we back him up. He's, he's a good player, he's played in the Premier League, so he's a top class player. He had an off day today. Um, so we can do, we, again, the game was, there was really nothing in the game up to that point. Um, I don't think either team was really taking a grip of the game. They probably shaded the possession of the ball. We had flashes here and there. There was nothing really in it. And then obviously to find yourself 2-0 down and we had to chase the game a little bit, but I think we almost got there. It was, we had a go. I've always said we will have a go, no matter what. And the lads had a go, so they deserve a lot of credit from that point of view, but I'm disappointing. Obviously disappointing up to that point. I'm sure Alex will probably be relatively disappointed up to that point. Take away the goals, the two penalties. Uh, I'm sure he feels his team could do better as well, but I don't think it was a great spectacle, shall I say, up to up to that point, other than the, the two penalties. But uh, it got exciting at the at the end. What's been said to Odebadjo, what's he said, what have you said in the uh, admittedly very short time since full time? No, I, I've just said exactly what I've just said to you. Stood in the change room, told the lads, the, the one thing we don't do is leave no man behind. Um, you don't need to say anything to somebody at that point because you can see they're hurting. I've been there myself, I've done mistakes like that as well. Um, it's, it's cost your team, so there, you don't need to say anything. It's about supporting a kid now, uh, getting them back in. And, and that's what teams do, that's what good teams do. They get round each other after a, after a knockout punch like that. So we will do that, we'll dust ourselves down. We've got a big, a good cup game midweek, but more importantly, we've got QPR at home next week. Can you put your finger on yet why it was a almost a strong arm game, quite a conservative game from, from both of you prior to the penalties. You can't really put any, I don't know, I mean, we've both had midweek games, we are where we are, they've, they've made three changes, what we made, I think, one. Um, it, was ju it just looked like two teams sort of almost cancelling each other out. Again, they probably shaded the possession side of things, but Westy never really had a save to make. Their goalie never had a save to make. So, um, sometimes you're going to get games like that as a spectacle to watch, I don't think it probably would have been the best any sort of neutral watching the game, but I think they would have, would have been up off their seats in the last 20 minutes, both sides, and willing their side to hang on or willing their side to, to get an equaliser, but it wasn't to be, unfortunately.